line. The Fate Line The Fate Line is also known as the Saturn Line or the Line of Fortune. It may well be called the Desire Line because rather than revealing a person's destiny it shows how much of an inclination or desire a person has to propel him toward his goals. It mostly runs through the plane of Mars which is an area symbolizing activity or motivation, so it follows in thought that this line should represent a person's motive force inscribing which directions one's energies are most easily channeled. This can be a difficult line to find, in fact, it is quite common to find it missing altogether. It can be made up of several lines with branches included which is the most common form to find it. It usually starts from the base of the hand and continues up toward the middle finger, though it may start higher up into the plane of Mars. The quality of the line will vary radically. Every possible combination of texture, shape, and depth will be found on this line if the line can be found at all. With this in mind, only the most common shapes and qualities will be covered leaving the rest to be interpreted along the guidelines given for every aspect of the hand. The ideal line starts on the Neptune mount and extends, unbroken, up past the heart line ending under Saturn. This would indicate a person whose life inclination has been mapped very early, usually resulting in a definite career, for example, medicine, a family business or trade, law, public service, a military career, etc. Length is the look for quality of this line regardless of chains, islands, or breaks. It almost doesn't matter where the line ends up, as long as it is long it usually indicates something positive. See Fate Line ending on Saturn. Fate Line that starts low on the palm shows a definite and strong career inclination or an early interest or talent, that will continue into, at least, early adulthood depending on the continuance of the line. Hints to how the career will be developed are given by where the line begins the Mount of Venus, Neptune, or Luna. The fate line beginning on Venus presents a person whose desires and motivations have been strongly influenced by his family or relatives. It also shows the availability of much of the person's physical energy for these interests. He enjoys putting himself into his labor physically and enjoys having his family close by who has probably given him much support from the start. The fate line beginning on Luna shows the person's motivations coming from his own imagination and making a self-motivator. Any help or influence that this person will receive will come from outside the family circle. This person would prefer a non-physical type of career since most of the energy comes from the imagination. The line rooted in Neptune gives the person a balanced approach to his desires, in that, he will use his imagination to set out after and plan his goals. And when necessary, he will put forth the physical effort needed. He is comfortable with either direction. He is not swayed one way or the other by family or other influences. A long fate line extending from Neptune would produce a great troubleshooter or diplomat. A wavy fate line signals constantly changing intentions and disorganization. This person doesn't stay focused long enough to accomplish any long-term goals. He is easily influenced from different directions, changing course too often to accomplish very much. The fate line branching to the lifeline is an unusual feature. It is difficult to say whether the lifeline is branching down or the fate line is connecting to the lifeline. In either case it expand the breadth of the lifeline. One interpretation might be that through one's occupation one's life is expanded given a large scope. In addition to this the branch would seem to strengthen the bottom part of the lifeline which, routinely, becomes sketchy and chained. This would shore up flagging vitality and strength in one's old age. It is difficult to say which is the main part of the line and which is the branch. The branch taking the more common path of the fate line is assumed to be the main part of the line. A short fate line ending abruptly well below the headline represents plans and talents abandoned in young adulthood, or a rather pedestrian vocation was found and kept from early in life. The continuance of the line dictates the amount of effort to be applied towards specific goals. In this case, the needed effort for something more ambitious is lacking. A broken fate line shows the interruption of career energy or motivation. This person may drift jobless for the duration of the break or just be relegated to some form of employment that is meaningless to him. If the line begins again in a different position, 
motivation for something new is indicated. Broken fate lines that overlap present the progress of new interests concurrently with motivations developed earlier, as would be shown in the three strong segments making up the fate line in the picture to the right. If these lines were weaker, they might just be hobbies taken seriously or impulses followed to the point of varying degrees of success, it all depends on the quality and length of the new line. This formation is difficult to identify, because overlapping lines usually exist on an ill-defined or vague line. The overlapping lines may be branches or other minor lines like the line of Apollo, Sun line, or the Health line. At any rate, when the identification is difficult because of sketchiness, not much importance will be put on it anyway. Because the attending lines are usually weak along with a weak fate line. This is where the method of interpretation outlined becomes valuable, the lines are saying that not much is happening or that a lot is happening with not much behind it or with consequence. A fate line that ends on Jupiter means a desire that might result in being in the public eye. Public service or politics would be a natural inclination. This person wants control of some degree of power for, what he interprets as, a benevolent guidance of people toward a positive direction or end. This person is probably rather passionate in his opinions which he has given as much consideration and deep thought as he is capable. A fate line that ends on Apollo is considered very fortunate. There may be some confusion as whether this line is in fact the Apollo, or Sun, line or a branch of the fate line. In any case, it is still considered propitious with possibly great success in the arts. The confusion that exists with the Apollo line, if it can be found at all, is remedied if the line is looked at as if it is an extension of the fate line. They certainly have almost identical meanings while, at times, blending to the point of the Apollo line having no distinction. If there seems to be a line that exists quite separate from the fate line, beginning toward the percussion or mount of Luna, it could be definitely called the Apollo line. It would show a tenacious desire toward the arts, coming from the percussion, or a highly inventive imagination, coming from Luna, applied to the arts, all indicating certain success. A fate line that ends on Mercury motivates a person toward communication, and good communication can bring money. Again, there can be confusion with what is called the Mercury line, especially if it starts on the Mount of Luna. This should be treated in the same manner as in the above example dealing with the Apollo line. If this line begins in Luna, it combines imagination, Luna, with communication, Mercury, making for a person with extraordinary intuition. A fate line ending under Saturn signals the development of a person's motivations in line with his purposes and values. If the line is long enough to actually end on the Saturn mount, rather than just point toward it, it is considered very fortunate toward all matters concerning careers. This is the most common position for the fate line to end. A fate line that extends up into the middle finger is extremely rare presenting an exceptional fate. The traditional interpretation is that this person's mission in life has been well decided before birth. It is an indication of some extraordinary karma or destiny, some say, giving the person singular abilities in either the psychic realm or material. It is so rare that the traditional interpretation of this line seems credible. A fate line that ends at the headline presents two different interpretations, a picture of a person who has settled into a groove well before middle age. Nothing new or challenging is slated for this person by his fate line, and it seems he will continue with his self-created status quo for the duration of his life. Or, this person's career is ended by too much activity and contention affecting him mentally and burning him out, the headline being in the middle of the plane of Mars. If there are other Martian qualities, the person could possibly be in the military and then the line might indicate an end to a career through combat or a head injury. A fate line that ends at the heart line has the traditional meaning that a love relation puts an end to a person's career. More likely, the interpretation could show that a person, having reached the successful conclusion of a well-loved career, finds it best to take advantage of a relatively early retirement and just enjoy his life. Even if a love relationship was the cause of some kind of career change, it would have probably been done very willingly and happily. A fate line that starts in the center of the palm, 
just below or on the headline signals career interests that begin very late in life stimulated from some kind of intense activity the person was involved in, as would be indicated by it beginning in the plane of Mars activity. The person's own resourcefulness and aggressiveness dictates in his career. A double fate line usually reinforces a person's abilities. It also doubles a person's capacity for accomplishment indicating two careers at once are possible. The extra line may appear anywhere along the line either. Reinforcing the particular segment or showing a separate interest concurrent with the longer or larger line. Branches of the fate line would show influences from the areas that the branches run to. For example a branch running to the Mount of Apollo, in addition to an already existing Apollo line, Sun line, would be considered very fortunate, lending creativity and a measure of success to all the person's endeavors. If the branches don't really reach to any of the mounts, then they would indicate divergent interests or alternate careers. Branches ending in the Mars areas would probably indicate struggles or small skirmishes in developing a career.